that they were not here. So this time we are going to use a lot uh, our chat and if you like you can also raise your hand and I will give you voice uh, so that you can talk between you while playing this game. What I would like to do today is indeed play a game together and uh, yes and uh, I will start Let's try to share. Uh, no, I cannot do that. Okay. Uh, I will share the screen, it's easier. Um, where is it? This is not the right one I want to share. Okay, this is what I wanted to share with you. Okay. This is what I want to share with you. Uh, this is the link where you should go uh, to uh, view our uh, game. Uh, as you know, uh, I told you that it is easier to do it uh, with using uh, Google Sites, and this is what I did. So if you go to sites.google.com, view learning event escape, I will also write it in the chat. Mm-hmm. I will write in the chat. Uh, this is the link where you should go. When you're all there, you're all connected, uh, we can uh, start playing the game. Okay, as I said, it is very important that you talk between you and uh, that you make uh, suggestions or, uh, uh, yeah, right, think aloud. Uh, if everybody's in, I will remove this link. And of course, if you have any question about how I made these things, you just ask me and I will show you uh, what I did, what is behind the scenes okay okay if you want i can share my screen do you think it is better if i share my screen or can you start uh, solving the first puzzle as you can see uh, it says that santa is in trouble someone is trying to ruin christmas i took a little bit of ideas uh, from your uh, um, from from uh, your themes and uh, yes, so you want to see the Google site. Okay, so I'll change view again and I'll start sharing. Uh, let's see if I can do it by collaborating. Yeah, okay. And I will start this one now. Uh, can you see it now? Uh, Okay. Not here. That's very strange. I did it the same, same way as before. But you can't see it. Ah, very strange. Okay, stop sharing. 
Can you see me now? I will try again to share the screen. Yes, uh, if you are the ruined Carol, yes, you can. Uh, uh, can you see this? No, okay. On the Google form, yeah, sure. Uh, on the Google form that is in the home page. If you have any ideas, you can uh, you can say them. I will play the song in the meantime. Can you see my screen or not, or shall I remove it? No screen. Okay. So I will leave out the screen. I play the tune and I will fashion. Yes, sure, sure, Enrica, do by all by all means do. It should be very easy for some of you. Uh, no, not the name of the carol, but the name of a person who changed it. No idea. A turtle dove, no. I think Andres was uh, on the right track. No, it is not missing. It is there. It is just on the same line. And it is one turtle dove. It is not a turtle dove. It's one turtle dove. How many of you teach math? Come on, Enrica, you should guess it very easily. Yeah, exactly. But someone ruined the lyrics, uh, wrote something different in the lyrics. We are not talking about 144, uh, don't know what. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any idea, okay. Listen, you have one, tut one, one partridge in a pear tree, one turtle dove, two French hens, three calling birds, five golden rings, eight geese, 13 swans, 21 maids, 34 ladies, 55 lords. Come on, it shouldn't be that difficult. My son guessed it immediately, I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes, it is Fibonacci, right, Fibonacci. Try and write Fibonacci. <laughs> cool, Erika, right. I was sure that you, you would have guessed it correctly immediately. After just one hour. <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, you have to get to guess the I. Uh, yes, requires capital letter. Sure, you you have to. So let's stop this song and let's go to the spell. There is a spell on Santa. He says, death was as fast as me. Type my name, make me be. My son is... Uh, <laughs> wants to do it as well. No. Okay. So. Hello, Chiara. <laughs> there is a, a tombstone saying Death was as fast as me. Type my name and I shall be, and, and make me be. Voldemort. No, it is not Voldemort. <laughs> Some of you loved uh, this uh, Harry Potter thing. I don't know if you are uh, here today with us, but. Any idea? Any discussion? The spell is not, yeah, uh, yeah, it, yes, it is indeed for language teachers, really, because, yeah, death was as fast as me. Yeah, but it is not just language teachers, it is also for uh, uh, more clues. Yeah, there is a joke, this, yeah, uh, Write my name. Okay. Death was as fast as me. Write my name and make me be. And there is Santa who is very in trouble because, yeah, this person is very important for him. Any idea? Twitter, uh, you're, you're from Finland, you should know it. <laughs> Andres, you're very, very clever. Yeah, you're almost on the right track, but it's a reindeer. Yeah, it's a reindeer, but not Rudolph. Not Rudolph. That was as fast as me. Write my name and make me be. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Today, I don't know what that means. In Finnish is what? Oh, the name of the reindeer. Yeah, but um, I use the English one so that everybody can know it. You can uh, look up. The names of the reindeer. Rudolf. No, not Rudolf. Oh, my son is playing it as well. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's searching. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. Dasha. Dasha. To dash means to go fast. Yeah. Dasha. Right, Chiara. Dasha is the name. Yeah, Dasha means to go very fast. To dash. So, Dasher is the name that you have to, to write there and you'll see what happens. Write Dasher and see what happens. Go to your mail, yes. 
No, it is not. <laughs> Come on, Erika. It's, it, it's in all Christmas movies. Uh, they say they talk about the names of the reindeer, or Santa's reindeer. <laughs> Okay, has anyone received the mail? Okay. I see that some of you have already received the mail. No, no, it is on your mail on the mail that you typed uh, uh, in the form. Yes, Andres, you did. So, Andres, you can uh, now write the clue. Yeah, but you shouldn't write it here, Olena. You will receive it. Yeah, wait a little bit. Uh, you should uh, write the code where it says uh, um, Harry Potter or something in the form, in the form, yes. No, no, no. Um, are you on the last one? Uh, on the last one, the hint is uh, both the um, is actually in the ticket. The hint is in the ticket and uh, yes, Fabrizia, you should have written Dasha in the form that is next to the Harry Potter message. Okay. Yeah. Does it work, Olena? You tried it? Non siamo nemmeno a quel punto. Okay. Erika, have you managed to write uh, okay. Ciao. the clue that you received in the mail? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, actually it is just a number and the book. So Enrica was right. Andres, you're... No, Skarmush is just for the setting. The setting of the novel that is important. And Andres got another clue. That is the flight number. There are no French, yeah, Pascal was not here, yeah, yeah, it is here, and uh, you have the full date, Andres.
It's the French Revolution, but it's the presence of the French Revolution. Yes, the idea is the French Revolution, the uh, Harry Potter thing and um, Harry Potter page, and write Dasha in the form next to the image. Yeah, Liberty. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it, Enrica. You see that you don't need to be a history teacher to get it right. Even a math teacher can do it. <laughs> So just wait because uh, maybe it is just a little bit slow in sending the clue. Anyway, um, if you want to go on Fabrizia, uh, uh, if you want to go on, uh, I think that Olena wrote it. It's uh, 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 I think that Olena wrote it is X twenty five MAS. Okay, I don't know. Maybe uh, it is just slow because of the internet. Don't know. You should receive it. Anyway, it's uh, X25MAS. This is. No, this is not the third box. This is the Harry Potter box. In the third box, you have to write the last one, which is the history one. Santa's presence. And I think that uh, Davide uh, was asking for the previous clues. The previous clues were, well, you, you should try and find it, those. No, you don't have to wait for another mail. If you wrote Liberty, Fraternity, Equality, you should have solved all the puzzles. We'll now check who is submitting the form. For the time being, I have no responses. So no one has completed the forms. Ah, X twenty five MAS. Okay, it should work.
Try again. Okay. Uh, Uh, hi, Luisella. Uh, it's a little bit like we've almost finished. And uh, okay, uh, it works fine for me. Try and use uh, uh, the capitals correctly. Yeah, no end. Liberty, fraternity, equality. Now just, just write, uh, um, yeah, write capital letters uh, and it will work. Okay. So yes, Davide. And now, now you're done. This was a very short example of how you can do and the mechanics, how, you, uh, how it can also work when you are um, online. You can do it with your partners in a project. You can try. Yeah, I will. I will. I will wait for everybody to submit the responses and then I will tell you who was first. For the time being, I've only got four responses, but I haven't got your names. <laughs> okay, I haven't got your names. I forgot to ask you to put the names or, uh, yeah, I don't know who was the first to submit it. But I think that for sure the winner is Andres because she got all the, uh, I don't know if Andres, sorry if, he, if you're a, yeah, you got most of the clues and Rika was also very uh, active. Yes, that is why I, I only put three um, pages, three clues. Uh, because if it is too long, it can be really boring because you have to think about it. And, uh, and it is also nice if they can actually talk between them online. Okay. Uh, have you got any question? Do you want to know how I did some of the, of the things? Of course, it depends very much on your creativity and particularly if you're doing it with your students and you have your students do it, it's very um, good because they have to think of the clues and this is a very creative task. Yes, they can chat with today's meet, for instance, yes. Or maybe have a Google Hangout chat and then um, uh, use... Uh, um, just do it online. Yes, three, four clues, no more. Yes, yes, you can, you can actually make groups and have the groups talk using, um, using, uh, yeah, today's meet. Was it nice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can do that with Socrates, with any other tool that you want to use for making groups. They could also just know the groups and uh, chat with, between them. Uh, Yes, and uh, another good idea could be, particularly if you're doing it within an e-twinning project, 
you can have um, a today's meet chat uh, on a, um, a group page in eTwinning so that they know that they can go to that page and they can chat there and they do not need to go to any other place. You can uh, create the rooms in advance and they can chat on their uh, pages. I don't know, uh, how are you doing with your uh, work? Online event is better. Yes, no, but I mean, uh, if you want to do in Teams, uh, Enrica, you could also do it in Teams. Like in the online event, there is just one person that is the speaker for the team and all the others are just helping to find the clues and to solve the clues. And you can do it using uh, this type of thing, uh, using two days meet on a page. So they have a, a chat that they can use just for the group, between the group, and you can have a real winner. Because I mean, here, everybody is the winner, as Andres said, because everybody is talking to one another. So, uh, oh, yeah, you make the of international team. Yes, if you like. Or you can have, it is better uh, also for me, uh, I am a language teacher, so for me it is better <clears throat> if you uh, have mixed groups, uh, not national groups. Uh, and uh, so if uh, the students need to talk to their uh, teammates uh, to solve the clues, uh, that is good because they also are using the language. They need to use English to talk to their friends. Okay, uh, yeah, mixed nationality teams, yeah, sure. This is much, much better. That is why if you do it in teams. Uh... Oh, okay. They must help each other. Yeah, sure. Okay, ah, uh, okay, I see. You have different colors for, yeah, okay. I, I, I understand what you mean. Are there other questions? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now I understand. Um, at each partner there is, for instance, a white and blue and a red team, and the teams can help one another between countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you got other questions, um, ideas of how to use it uh, with your partners and in e-twinning projects? Davide, have you managed to find all the keys, all the clues? Yeah, you're out too late. Anyway, the first one was Fibonacci, is the mathematician, because that is the Fibonacci sequence or series. And the second one is uh, Dasher. You have to type Dasher in the form that is next to the Harry Potter picture. And then you receive uh, a mail telling you what is the code that you need to type uh, in the form on the home page. And then you, uh, the final one is uh, liberty, fraternity, and equality. And this is uh, the uh, French Revolution. Okay, is uh, Fibonacci the first one? Second one is Dasher. and then you receive a mail uh, with the code uh, and finally it is uh, 
uh, equality. Yes, uh, you have time until tomorrow. I will uh, tell uh, Rute to send out uh, uh, the evaluation forms to you um, on a Thursday. Fabrizia, you have to be careful to the um, to capitals. If you write with the right capitals, it works. Okay. So I will tell her to uh, rush and uh, yeah, I can have her uh, send out the evaluation form tomorrow if you're leaving. Okay. So I, I think you can s still uh, send it even a little bit later, no problem. And um, I'm very happy I, and I saw what you did and uh, it is very, um, very interesting, very clever. And also um, I can understand that it is difficult at the beginning because you have to have a special mindset to create the clues. And this mindset is not uh, easy to get if you're not used to playing this type of games. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can try. And also there is the problem with the forms. I don't know if you used it and you uh, um, and it was okay how to use it and how to make it um, work um, as locks. Okay, stop here and um, also this time I will uh, upload uh, the video. Yeah, okay. I think that everybody is very busy for, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're so close to Christmas. Uh, so uh, I wish you all a uh, Merry Christmas, uh, a peaceful Christmas uh, with your families. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, and hope to meet you, uh, at some other events or, uh, yeah, why not, uh, if you want to start a project, uh, I'd be very happy to know about it and, uh, yeah, and, and maybe meet you also, uh, in real life sometime during some workshop in e twinning. Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye bye. Plus, yeah, plus five, which is very, very cold. We're feeling really cold, but no snow here, unfortunately. <laughs> bye bye. Enjoy your Christmas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, but you, uh, it needs to be a little bit cold in, at Christmas because you want to be at home with the family and you feel more the warmth of the family if it is cold outside. Okay, bye-bye and Merry Christmas again to everybody.